Hey y'all. Um, I hope everybody's having a really good day today. Um, today I wanted to do a um, my cleaning product must-haves, things that I um, basically use every single day, like on a daily basis. So, um, for those of you who don't know me, I am a stay-at-home mom. I have two girls. One is eight. She just turned eight. And she's in school. She does go to school. And my youngest is almost five. And this year we're going to be doing a um, kind of like a homeschool program. It's offered by our state for free. Let's see, we haven't started yet, so. And she's not really looking forward to it either. <laughs> but um, anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this video with like something I have used for ever since I've had kids and I always have to have it with me um, it's always got to be in my cleaning supplies cabinet whatever Many of you will agree um, magic erasers this is just the oh goodness there there we go bear with me here I brought I put this really bright lamp in front of me so yeah like I said um, these are just some off brands. I used to use the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers, but they're really expensive and I tried these out a while, while, while back and they work just as well. I mean, I really don't see the difference. Um, and they're just so much cheaper. I think these are like maybe, and I, I also want to try, if you've ever tried the Dollar Tree brand, um, Please, like, let me know in the comments below if you like them or if they're a waste and you might as well just stick with Walmart brand or tar Target, wherever you go, Dollar General. <laughs> um, but I have to have these with me all the time because my oldest doesn't do it as much anymore. She used to be really bad when she was younger and she's getting better. Um, it sounds really really bad saying that she's eight years old um anyway but my five-year-old still does it oh my gosh I get onto her all the time and she still does it she will mark on the walls with crayons and markers and even permanent markers and she'll color on furniture oh my goodness she's even colored on the like bed sheets and stuff. I don't know what her deal is. It's not like we're lacking paper. I, I guess paper gets boring and it's just more fun coloring on the walls and the furniture. So the only thing that I've really found that gets it off like completely, whether it's washable or permanent, are the magic erasers. So that's one main reason I use these. I, I use them for a lot actually. So. That's empty, <laughs> by the way. Um, all right, so that is definitely my I have to have it on me all the time in my house cleaning product. Must have. Just mom life trying to survive. Um, my second cleaning product, and I recently just discovered this product um i saw it on a few cleaning videos but um i do clean other houses and i clean my family members houses and um one of my clients clients um she had it on her and her bathtub it's a little outdated and she also uses spray tan so it was she says she's tried everything to get her bathroom or her bathtub like clean, like spotless. And so she had this in her in her cleaning cabinet and I decided to try it out. I've never tried it out before. I've seen a few people, like I said, use it. So I gave it a shot and it got her bathtub like extremely 
clean. She was absolutely shocked. She was like, I've never seen it that clean before, and I would have never thought to use this product on it. So, I went out and got this. Yep, lighting is just absolutely terrible. Oh, there we go. Barkeeper's friend. And it really is a friend. I mean, this is a great product. Why have I never heard of it? I really love it. I love it. And um, I'll, I'll show you in a minute what I pair it with. But um, it just works really good on everything. You would be shocked on what you can use it on that you would have never thought to use it on. Because it, it just, it's kind of like a miracle worker. <laughs> Like the miracle erasers except I, I think it's even better but I can't use it on certain things so um, that's what those are for but this has easily become one of my everyday go-to products and I love it I'm not gonna go into too much detail on it but and I also like the fact that it um, doesn't really have much of a smell to it um, it's not strong it does have kind of a little smell, but um, it's it doesn't feel harsh like if I was to use like bleach or something, which I used to use all the time. I felt like my house was not clean unless I used bleach. Let's just get real. I love Miss Myers, <laughs> and I love their autumn scents. Um, I'm trying to think what my favorite. I don't even know what my favorite scent is and just their normal smells, scents, whatever. Um, I kind of like the lavender, but I only really like using the lavender in like my bathroom and, um, or my bathrooms and sometimes the bedroom. But the fall collection and the spring collection, I haven't tried the Christmas um, collection yet or the holiday, whatever, winter. So hopefully this year I'll get to try that out. If you have tried any or all of them out and you have one that you absolutely love, let me know so I don't have to waste my time because <laughs> I don't want to order all of them. I ordered the Apple... Oh, there we go. I'm figuring it out slowly but shortly. Uh, the Apple Cider Miss Myers Multipurpose. And I went ahead and got the bundle gift set dealio. So I got the dish soap with it. Which I run out of this really, really fast. And I run out of this really fast. Um, and it did come with this. I still have some left over from last year. Um, it's not that we don't wash our hands a lot. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't really care that much for for the hand soap in this. I don't know why. I feel like it's just maybe a little too much for my hands. But um it came with it anyway. And then it also came and I completely forgot. Um with the little we're we're gonna figure this out one day. Soy candle. And I love Miss Meyer's soy candles, especially I think my favorite is the lavender. Because all you have to do is open it up, just open the lid up, put it out. You don't even have to light it. And it's super strong, I mean, but not overpowering strong. And this one's pretty strong too. Um, I haven't lit it yet because I just got the stuff in yesterday. Moving on next is the Pledge Multi-Surface. Normally I get the, um, like, Not cedar wood. I don't know exactly. Some kind of wood. Cashmere. Yeah, cashmere woods. That one smells so great, <laughs> especially for fall and even winter. It smells really good. But they were out of it, so I got this one. But I use this on um, my wood, and I use it on my stainless steel appliances also. I just feel like it works better than... I haven't found a stainless steel actual stainless steel product that I really like so I just use that and um, it's worked fine for me 
so but that's about all i use it for is just wood and stainless steel so i'm not gonna go i mean i'm pretty sure everybody's heard a pledge and used it at some point in their lives or they use it all the time um i tried the um the method wood cleaner and i almond almond i didn't like it a lot of people swear by it but i don't like it it, it just didn't smell very good to me it was too strong and this is also something i've been using for about mm, about a year now um and it's the method squirt and mop for hardwood floors i don't have hardwood i have tile and then i have carpet so but i use it on my tile and um this one's the yeah that maybe whatever it's spearmint sage Ugh, try saying that five times fast um i've used the yellow one too it's like a citrusy smell i don't really like it that much and i really would love one day for method to kind of come out with some more scents to choose from i think there's only a few for this so i like the smear <laughs> spearmint um sage one because it's it's kind of strong at first but it does die down and go away unlike um the hardwood or the wood cleaner <laughs> so i really like that one um it just kind of leaves a nice clean smell after you've already mopped and you give it like not even 30 minutes and the smell kind of goes the strong part goes away and then it's just a nice clean lingering scent that you're left with i should have planned this out better i should just scoot it all with me right now i think i'm gonna do one so to go along with the um barkeeper's friend but before i found barkeepers um i started using this miss myers uh bacon soda cream cleaner and I like the lemon verbana. That's good enough. Kind of sounds like nirvana. So, sounds about right. I like that. Um, that's the scent. The scent that I I like so far. I haven't really found another scent that I like in that. And I think they only actually make like two or three. So, Miss Myers, if you're listening out there. I would love it if you would like come up with some other scents that would be really great okay but that works really good with the barkeeper's friend also I'll kind of just like make my own little concoction depending on like how much grime I need to try to get off just let it sit for a couple of minutes and it normally does the job really well the first time around and I love the first time around speaking of first time around this is my favorite go-to glass cleaner. I've tried a lot. I've tried um, Windex for a long time. I've tried the off-brand Windex. I've tried whatever else is out there. And I know this has been around for a really long time and a lot of people probably use it, but I've never heard of it. <laughs> I've probably seen it and thought, oh, that's just some cheap, cruddy junk. I'm not even gonna try it. But um, I was cleaning somebody's house one day and they had it and I fell in love yeah so I have went out and got me some I'm really OCD when it comes to my mirrors and windows and mirrors like I don't know if I'm the only one who does this but I'll like be looking at all different angles after I'm through wiping it down the first time because there's always like smudges that get left and that drives me insane um so I really like this one I feel like I only have to go over my mirrors and my windows, but mainly my mirrors. Those are the tough ones. Once. Um, and then last but not least, I just started using this and I, I think it's fairly new, but for laundry, I've been using the Gain Botanicals and this one is Orange Blossom Vanilla. It's, oh I'm just going to open it up right now. Oh, it just smells so good. It's such a clean and light scent, but it's also a little fallish too. I'm not really sure how to explain it. Um, but it does a really good job. 
So that's all. Those are my must-have cleaning products um, as of right now. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy videos like this and you'd like to see future ones, I would love to have you just join, join me in my channel. Um, that would just make my day. And um, if you have any um, of your favorite cleaning products, your must-go-tos that are not on here, um, please feel free to share in the comments below. I love, I love to hear other people's cleaning product tips and what they use and what they think is best. So anyway, until next time.